But John, can I make the point to you that, yeah, you're right, that is absolutely true. And the, the, the issue is not so much poverty, actually. The issue is inequality. And there is an insidiousness about inequality. And it isn't the begrudgery thing. Some people really are, 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 are having flashcards and foreign holidays and all that stuff, and other people are not. That's not the point. It's that in a deeply unequal society, a lot of people die prematurely because of inequality. A lot of people have miserable lives because of inequality. A lot of people have terrible health because of inequality. Low educational attainment because of inequality. Uh, teenage pregnancies are... are, are um, more prevalent in inequality. Crime is more prevalent when there's uh, large scale inequality. Inequality itself is the insidiousness, is insidious. And that, and, uh, and, and then allied to that, the reality is that we are a very rich society. And if we were all paid the same, we would, everybody would be fine. There'd be no difficulty. We'd be gone. Well, this, if, if we're all, can I answer that? I was going to say this. If you want to abolish relative poverty and you want to abolish inequality, then the solution is very simple. And for people listening at home, the average income in this country is 24,000, or was in 2011, 24,000. That's, that's including all children and the etc. Yeah, and the but, that's the, the, but, but, that's the, but if you, but if you, if you take equivalent income and all that, it, it, it's a different thing. Go well, on, yeah. The point is that... If you take households, the household income would be very considerable. Um, I think it's 42,000, actually. I think it was no it was, it was, it was But anyway, no, let's, no, let's, let's, no. let's accept the point that you, Vincent Brown, on this program have just announced to the nation that 42,000 euros is enough, and everyone shall earn that. That's absolutely fine, and people at home will be nodding their heads, and there'll be people tweeting and texting into you saying, good idea, Vincent, until they have to go to the hospital, and until they have to go and try and find the hospital consultant who's come to work in Ireland for 42,000 euros, because that's what he's guaranteed to get. Until they want to go to the opposition well, because they need new glasses. Isn't it strange that in Cuba, for instance, where hospital consultants can easily escape out to America or places where they get paid significantly more, they stay in Cuba and they have an excellent health service. Isn't that odd? Isn't it also odd that the most significant achievements we've had in this country have nothing to do with the, uh, financial incentives? I was at Croke Park last Sunday and it's a magnificent place, all built by an organisation that is voluntary. And I'm not saying that the people who built the stadium were voluntary, were, were, weren't paid, but I'm saying that this organisation, which is contributed to by so, so many people throughout the country, unpaid, has been a hugely successful enterprise. And makes most of the money for Croke Park and, and, through, and, and, and its own organisation through sponsorship from commercial in part, that exists yes, it doesn't make part. most of its money through sponsorship. That's and ridiculous, and That is ridiculous. And it okay, it's it's all relies, right. it relies on economic activity. And let it be noted for the record, Vincent, that you... you, you the record you, be on. Go on, don't be so bloody pompous. You, Go on. Think, you think that Cuba is a model for Ireland. I said... I, I said... No, you I said... said, 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 said you said... I said... With regard to health care. With regard to health care. Well, why did you pick health care? Why didn't you pick... Why did you pick life expectancy? Because I was just making the point... That I simply make no, I don't think Cuba is a is magnificent society and we should replicate it here. Of course I do not. But I'm making the point with regard to healthcare. You said that if everybody was paid the same and they went down to the hospital to get uh, treatment, they wouldn't find any consultants there well, because they'd all gone to, to be, to, they'd, they'd all gone to some place they would be paid arguing, better. And arguing. I'm making the point, well, isn't it odd that in a country such as Cuba, where uh, consultants could easily escape and be paid better elsewhere, they'd choose to stay in Cuba. You're making the point to the wrong person. If you want to make that point, bring Senator John Crown on, sit him in this chair and berate him for not working for 42 grand a year. That's what you should do. Because it's nothing to do with the argument that there needs to be about economic policy is how much...